As many people know, some buddies encountered a lot of problems when installing custom nodes before, especially reactor, IP adapter, instant ID, portrait master, etc. While helping everyone solve these problems, I discovered a simple solution, which is to directly package and share the comfy UI environment I use. This way, everyone can use it directly after downloading and unzipping without the need for configuration. However, later, Aoki who is a famous Stable Diffusion contributor released his Comfy UI launcher, and I think maybe everyone doesn't need my version as much, so I did not update it again. But recently, a buddy told me that he still preferred to use my package because they can directly use the workflows shared in my videos without installing and configuring additional custom nodes. However, the last time I shared the integration package was last month. Both Comfy UI and many custom nodes have been updated. They encounter problems such as not finding nodes or even running errors when applying the latest workflow. They urged me to release a new version. I've always been receptive to suggestions, so I packaged my current environment, tested all the previous workflows, recorded this video, hoping to make it easier for buddies to get started. My package is very simple, with just two zip files, one is the complete package, and the other is the checkpoint package, providing an SD 1.5 and an SDXL model, convenient for buddies who are using Stable Diffusion for the first time. If you already have checkpoints locally, you can ignore them and choose to use your own. The download links for the two zip files will be placed in the video description. Now let me demonstrate how to use it. The first step is to unzip. This file is relatively large, so it will take some time to unzip. Here are the files after I've unzipped them. I'll first put the two checkpoints extracted from the checkpoint zip file into the corresponding folder of Comfy UI, and we'll use them for the demonstration later. Now let's go to the Comfy UI underscore full folder. You can see several folders in total. Comfy UI is the main program. The data folder contains image files I placed, including three images and a pose file for the bathing song, which contains nearly 800 image frames, enough to create a nearly 30-second, 30 30-frame 30 video. Python underscore embedded is the Python environment used by Comfy UI, including dependencies required by various custom nodes. The workflow folder contains some workflows I shared before including image upscaling, in painting, video conversion, instant ID, etc. I have verified them with the package. Read me is a statement. This package is shared with everyone for free. I hope everyone can follow these usage specifications and also hope to get a thumbs up from you. Run underscore NVIDIA underscore GPU and run underscore CPU are launchers. If you have an NVIDIA 10 series or above graphics card, Use the one with GPU in the name, otherwise, use the other one, but it will perform much worse. Now enter the Comfy UI folder, open the custom nodes directory, and let me introduce the installed custom nodes to you. This is the language switch custom node, IP adapter for customized styles, animate diff for animation creation, control net corresponding to it, Christools for displaying resource usage, and instant ID. LCM, reactor for face swapping, etc. In short, everything I used in previous videos is here. Let's also take a look at what's inside the models folder. The checkpoints folder contains the checkpoints. You can place any checkpoints you download here. This is the control net model, I collected them one by one. There are commonly used ones as well as some more specialized ones, all shared here. You can know whether it's for 1.5 or XL, based on the name. The extra underscore model underscore pass file is used to define file locations. For example, if you already have checkpoints locally but don't want to put it in the checkpoints folder I mentioned earlier, you can update its location in this file. This is my own configuration file for your reference. If you don't know how to configure it, you can refer to the first episode of my Comfy UI series. After completing these steps, we still need one final preparation, which is to install FFmpeg. You can download it from the official website. This is required for the video-related custom nodes we'll be using. Installation is straightforward, just go through the steps. Now let me start Comfy UI. It takes some time to start, so let's be patient.
All right, it's started. If you see any workflows inside, that's okay. Those are cached by the browser. If you don't need them, just click clear to remove them. This package includes a language switch custom node. Let me demonstrate how to use it. First, load a default workflow, and you'll see that all the nodes are in English. Click the switch locale button, and soon, all the node information will switch to Chinese. Besides Chinese, it can also be switched to other languages. If anyone needs it, they can set it themselves. Now click the language switch again, and the node information will switch back to English. Now, let me try each workflow that comes with it. From basic workflows like XY comparisons and face fix to complex ones like Instant ID and Animated If. They are all useful processes, most of which I have explained in separate videos. Buddies with questions can refer back to them. In Painting Workflow There's a description in each workflow, which will introduce what the workflow does and what custom nodes it uses. Now let's see how to use this workflow. Click here for the checkpoint, and you'll see two models, the ones I previously placed here. I've also prepared commonly used models for VAE. This is an in-painting workflow, so you need to upload the image to be in-painted first. Click Upload here, open the data file, and select this image. Of course, you can choose the image you actually want to in-paint here. I wrote closed eyes in the positive prompt here. Now right-click on the image. Select Open in Mask Editor, open the mask editing interface, adjust the brush size, paint the part of the eyes that need to be in-painted, save to the node, click Run. And soon, the person's eyes will be closed, and the image looks very natural. You can also choose to in-paint other parts of the person. But remember to specify the results of the in-painting you need in the positive prompt. Image Upscaling Workflow This workflow includes three ways for upscaling images. The first two are built using nodes provided by Comfy UI. And the last one is a commonly used image upscaling custom nodes. Just choose one you like during daily image processing. Now click Run to see if the process works properly. The original image is already out. Let's speed up and see how the upscaled image looks. Okay, let's first look at the original image. Although it's a half-length portrait, the facial features are still quite blurry. Now let's look at the upscaled image below. The person's features are significantly clearer, but there are slight differences in detail. Face Fix Workflow this workflow demonstrates the results of fixing face using Face Detailer and Seg Detailer. Simply click Run directly to see if it works properly. This process takes a long time, so I'll speed it up to let you see the results faster. This is the original image, and these are the final images. The last three are the results after upscaling. XY Comparison Workflow This workflow directly compares the results under different parameters. For example, here, my character is wearing a white dress, and I'll write black, red, and yellow here. Click Run to see the comparison results of the character wearing these four colors of dresses. ControlNet Workflow This workflow uses an OpenPose preprocessor and a corresponding model. Upload an image here, extract the pose, and then, according to the prompt, different character images with the same pose will be generated. Click Run to see the corresponding results. Instant ID Workflow This workflow requires uploading a person image and a pose image. selecting a style for the image, and then clicking Run. After a while, 
you can see the image of the person overlaid with the pose. And the style is the watercolor style we selected. Portrait Master Workflow This process can only be used with an Excel checkpoint. Choose the checkpoint I prepared for you. Click Run. And soon, the image will appear. The girl looks very pretty. Video Conversion Workflow This is a workflow shared in recent videos for converting the bathing song. If your source video is of real people, you need to extract the pose first. Here, I prepared the pose frames for the bathing song for everyone, so we can directly convert the video. Now, we'll disable the pose extraction workflow by selecting it and pressing Ctrl B. and then select the video conversion part of the workflow. Press Ctrl B to enable this part. Then upload the bath file or other pose files you have here. Change the 360 here to 20. And I'll just run this part to test this workflow quickly. Upload a style reference image here for IP adapter. and upload a face swapping image for reactor. Click Run. This workflow takes a long time to run, so I'll speed it up. The result is out, indicating that the process can be used normally, and the facial replacement is successful when zoomed in on the person's face. That concludes the demonstration of the attached workflows. Next is the Q&A session. Why is the package so large? Because Animate Diff with its various models alone is over 20 gigabytes, and the ControlNet models are also over 30 gigabytes. Will it be updated in the future? If you can handle upgrades and installation of new custom nodes yourself, you can completely update it on your own. I may release a new one every now and then, but it won't be an update package. You'll still need to download the complete package again. Of course, if you were quite satisfied with the previous version, you can also choose not to update. Are there any other cloud drives? Because this file is too large, I currently only have Quark. If there are other suitable cloud drives, you can also recommend them to me. Everyone knows, I'm quite receptive to suggestions. Alright, today's sharing is over. If you encounter any problems while using the package, feel free to comment or message me, and I'll do my best to resolve them. See you in the next video.